Imagine stepping into a world where science and horror dance in eerie waltz, where lightning crackles with untamed power and shadows hold secrets darker than the night itself. Picture yourself in a time when black and white cinema ruled the silver screen, and the year was 1935. It was in this backdrop that The Bride of Frankenstein first flickered to life, captivating audiences with its chilling tale of creation and consequence. Perhaps you remember that tingling sense of anticipation as the opening credits rolled, or the way your heart raced as you followed Dr. Frankenstein's tormented journey into the realm of forbidden knowledge. The clinking of glass vials and the distant echoes of a haunting melody might still resonate in your mind, a symphony of unease that accompanied the unfolding narrative. And who could forget that iconic moment, the hair-raising culmination of the film, as the bride herself was unveiled to the world. A mixture of awe and horror as her bandages unraveled, revealing her striking yet unnerving appearance, is etched in the minds of all who witnessed it. It was a scene that defied expectations, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. But now, let's delve beyond the surface and uncover some lesser-known facts about this masterpiece. Behind the scenes, tensions between director James Whale and the studio, unconventional makeup techniques, and the subtle yet powerful symbolism woven throughout the film add layers of intrigue to an already captivating narrative. So, if you're ready to venture deeper into the labyrinthine corridors of The Bride of Frankenstein to uncover the fascinating truths that lie beneath the surface, then join me on this journey of discovery. Let's dive into some riveting facts that will reshape the way you perceive this classic horror gem, proving that even the most iconic stories can still hold surprises in the shadows. Released in 1935, The Bride of Frankenstein stands as a classic horror film that follows the trajectory of its predecessor, Frankenstein. Directed by James Whale, the sequel delves deeper into the complexity of Dr. Frankenstein's creation and explores the moral dilemmas surrounding science and humanity. The film introduces new characters, notably the enigmatic Dr. Pretorius, whose influence pushes Dr. Frankenstein to create a female companion for the monster. This pursuit of creation and acceptance sparks a poignant reflection on identity and societal rejection. The movie is characterized by its unique blend of horror and dark humor with Wales' distinct directorial style contributing to its gothic and visually striking atmosphere. Boris Karloff returns as the monster, delivering a performance that transcends the character's monstrous appearance to evoke empathy and pathos. The iconic scene of the bride's awakening, her shockingly eerie yet alluring appearance, remains etched in cinematic memory. The film's themes of creation, loneliness, and the struggle for belonging resonate beyond the confines of the horror genre. The Bride of Frankenstein has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Its portrayal of the monster and the bride has become iconic, inspiring countless adaptations, parodies, and references in films, television, literature, and art. The film's exploration of ethical and existential questions surrounding scientific advancement continues to provoke thought and discussion. Through its masterful storytelling, unforgettable characters, and enduring themes, The Bride of Frankenstein continues to captivate audiences, making it a cornerstone of horror cinema and a testament to the power of storytelling. Elsa Lanchester's ordeal and claustrophobia on set of The Bride of Frankenstein in the annals of cinematic lore, 1,935 seconds The Bride of Frankenstein stands as a beacon of horror and innovation. Elsa Lanchester, the actress immortalized as the eponymous bride, endured a remarkable ordeal to bring her iconic character to life. Swathed in bandages for days, she was rendered nearly immobile, even needing assistance to eat. The commitment to her craft was such that not even her fingers were spared from the tight bindings. The set, which birthed some of Hollywood's most indelible moments, also saw the curious case of a claustrophobic stand-in. The tale goes that one of Lanchester's stand-ins succumbed to an overwhelming bout of claustrophobia, brought on by the same bandages that adorned the main actress. The set's pressure cooker environment, focused on realizing James Whale's vision, could even trigger such extreme reactions among the crew. Amidst the mesmerizing horror that unfolded on screen, behind-the-scenes struggles were not confined to Lanchester alone. Boris Karloff, the man beneath the iconic Frankenstein's monster, grappled with his own tribulations. While his weekly wage of $2,500 might have seemed princely in the 1930s, the price of embodying the creature was far steeper. 
The elaborate makeup and ponderous costume compounded Karloff's already debilitating arthritis, making his performance an act of enduring pain. As the Bride of Frankenstein continues to cast its spell on audiences, it's worth remembering the unsung battles that enriched its legacy. Elsa Lanchester's harrowing tryst with bandages and Karloff's sacrifice for art serve as poignant reminders of the lengths Hollywood's pioneers would go to craft enduring tales of terror. The Bride of Frankenstein unveiling intriguing trivia in 1935. The silver screen was electrified by The Bride of Frankenstein, a cinematic marvel that continues to captivate audiences with its eerie allure. Crafted within a mere 46 days at a cost of approximately $400,000, this film brought to life the timeless tale of creation and yearning. But amidst the shadows and bolts lies a little known gem that casts light on its production history. A pivotal scene where the tormented monster stumbles upon a gypsy camp holds a curious backstory, emerging as a last-minute replacement for a censored scene post sneak previews. This addition came to fruition after principal filming wrapped, and the musical score was composed. A striking anomaly as it stands alone without the embrace of the film's haunting melodies. This unscripted evolution grants a unique lens into the intricate web of Hollywood's creative process. Delving further into the cast, the youthful radiance of Valerie Hobson, the actress behind Dr. Frankenstein's fiancé and eventual bride, radiates its own fascination. Surprisingly, she graced the screen at a mere 17 years old, a stark contrast to her co-star Colin Clive, who portrayed Henry Frankenstein at the age of 35. This age disparity, unnoticed by many, lends an unexpected layer of complexity to the film's character dynamics. As the celluloid curtains drew back on the Bride of Frankenstein, the world witnessed a symphony of darkness and desire. From its swift conception to the unplanned tapestry of its scenes and the curious casting, the cinematic gem continues to whisper secrets of a bygone era woven meticulously for posterity's gaze. In the iconic 1935 film The Bride of Frankenstein, a subtle yet intriguing detail brings a touch of irony to Dr. Pretoria's eerie apartment scene. As Dr. Pretorius showcases a miniature devil character to Henry Frankenstein, he jests about a certain resemblance between himself and the diminutive creation. What many might not realize is that the miniature devil was portrayed by Peter Shaw, serving as actor Ernest the Siger's stand-in, and film double throughout the production. The seamless integration of this playful duality adds depth to the film's atmosphere. The Siger's portrayal of Pretorius, a character with dark intentions and manipulative charm, is further highlighted by this whimsical choice. The interplay between the characters and their miniature counterparts takes on a new layer of meaning, mirroring the deceptive nature of their relationships. Amidst the film's captivating visuals and intricate narrative, it's these nuanced touches that remind us of the meticulous craftsmanship behind the scenes. Shaw's dual role as the miniature devil and the Siger's double is a testament to the attention to detail that went into creating the uncanny and mesmerizing world of the Bride of Frankenstein. It's fascinating to delve into these lesser known aspects of classic films, shedding light on the collaborative efforts and creative decisions that shaped cinematic history. As we revisit The Bride of Frankenstein, let's remember that even within the shadows and horrors, there are hidden gems waiting to be discovered, enhancing our appreciation for this timeless masterpiece. Lost epilogue and unseen parodies, the legacy of The Bride of Frankenstein and the annals of cinema history, few films hold the enigmatic allure of the 1935 classic, The Bride of Frankenstein. This iconic sequel to the 1931 hit, Frankenstein, continues to captivate audiences with its eerie charm and groundbreaking visual effects. Yet, beneath its surface lie hidden tales that enrich the narrative of this cinematic gem. One such untold story revolves around the lost epilogue that featured Elsa Lanchester portraying Mary Shelley. Lanchester's compelling performance as the titular bride is etched into cinematic history. However, a final scene originally conceived to close the movie depicted Lanchester in a dual role as both the bride and Mary Shelley. Regrettably, due to various factors, this scene never made it to the final cut. The epilogue would have added an intriguing layer, further blurring the lines between fiction and reality. Another fascinating twist involves the casting choices that could have been. Claude Rains, a revered actor of his time, was initially approached for the role of Dr. Pretorius. 
However, his commitment to mystery of Edwin Drood forced him to decline the role. In his absence, the charismatic Ernest the Siger stepped into the shoes of the malevolent doctor, leaving an indelible mark on the film's eccentricity. Fast forward four decades, and the Bride of Frankenstein found itself an unexpected inheritor in the form of Mel Brooks' uproarious parody, Young Frankenstein. This homage recreated the memorable blind hermit scene, a heartfelt interaction between the monster and a kind hermit. What's more intriguing is the uncredited appearance of Gene Hackman as the friendly hermit. The parody not only paid tribute to the source material, but also added a layer of humor that stood the test of time. The Bride of Frankenstein remains a treasure trove of stories both seen and unseen. Its lost epilogue, unfulfilled casting, and enduring parodies all contribute to the film's enduring mystique. As time marches on, these hidden narratives continue to shed light on the ever-evolving world of cinema, reminding us that even the most celebrated classics can still hold surprises. As the timeless reel of memories comes to a gentle halt, we find ourselves at the crossroads of past and present, where the Bride of Frankenstein resides like an old, cherished photograph tucked away in the album of cinematic history. A creation of both genius and darkness, this 1935 masterpiece stitches together threads of horror, longing, and the human desire for connection. As the credits roll and the echoes of Elsa Lanchester's haunting hiss linger in the air, we are reminded that in the realm of cinema, beauty, and monstrosity dance in intricate waltz. The bride herself, an enigmatic symbol of yearning, stands as a testament to the profound desire to find someone who understands the stitched together fragments of our souls. But the true magic of The Bride of Frankenstein is how it transcends the celluloid, whispering into our own stories. It's in the way we all seek a spark of understanding, a glimpse of recognition in another's eyes, just as the monster sought his own place in a world that deemed him a misfit. Now, dear friend, it's your turn. What resonates with you in this tale of love and creation? Is it the lightning-streaked laboratory, the electric chemistry between Karloff and Lanchester, or perhaps the undercurrent of vulnerability beneath Boris Karloff's portrayal of the monster? What memories do you hold of late-night screenings or heated debates about its underlying themes? Your thoughts are a testament to the ongoing resonance of The Bride of Frankenstein. Share your stories, memories, and reflections for it's in our collective musings that this classic finds its eternal life transcending generations and cultures. Thank you for walking through the shadows and the light with us as we explore the tapestry of cinematic wonder. Your time and interest are the sparks that keep these narratives alive, flickering through time like an ageless flame. Warmly, your fellow enthusiast.